Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is build an array with stack operations. So in this question, we're given an integer array called target and also an integer n. We have an empty stack with two following operations, push and pop. So as you know, push is used to push an element to the top of the stack and pop is used to remove an element from the top of the stack. And we are also given a stream of integers starting from one through n, where n is going to be the integer given as input. Both 1 and n are inclusive in the stream of integers. We have to form a output list which is going to contain these operations push and pop. So the elements inside this output are only going to be either push or a pop. Now we have to pick the next integer from this stream and add into the list using the operations. Now we need to build the target which is given to us using this stream of integers and output it as a stack operations list and we have to follow these rules mentioned to us i've taken the first example let's see how we can solve this now we have the target 1 and 3 so we need to insert 1 and 3 into the stack using stack operations and n is equal to 3 so we have a stream of integers 1 through n so which is equal to 1 through 3 because n is 3 in this example so let's start with the first element inside the target and I'm going to use a index variable called input and initialize it to 1 because our stream is going to be starting from 1 and it is going to end at 3. So I'm going to use this input variable to keep track. So we have a 1 and this is also 1. So we start with pushing this 1 into the stack. So we insert a push into the output list. So this will be the output and increment the input variable to access the next element inside the stream. In the next iteration, the, we are pointing at this element 3. Now input is 2 and the target is 3. Since 2 is less than 3, we insert a push and remove that element. So, so we push 2. So inside the stack now, we have 1. Now we added 2 and we pop 2. Because 2 is less than 3 and we increment 3 and increment input for the next iteration. Now 2 is added, now 2 is removed. Now input is 3, 3 is less than 3, so this is false. This is true and this will become false. If it is false, it means that input is less than sum, this condition is failing here. So you push that element into the stack. So you get a push here and you reach the end of the array. So 3 is inserted into the stack. So we get our output which is matching the target and we get the expected output. So here you can observe that. So this is for 1, this is for 2 and this is for 3. So for elements which are not present inside the target, so 2 is not present inside the target. For that we perform this operation push and pop. So for every element which is not present inside the target, you add two operations push and pop into the output list using this condition. So this condition is important. Input should be less than num. Input is used to track the input stream and num is going to be the element inside the targets. So let's see how we can code this up. So I have taken the output list as the ops list as the output because we return the list of strings as the output and this is the input variable starting from one so input will be keep tracking of the range of stream of integers one through n and i'm using a for each loop to access the element inside the target so target is this uh, example in this example was one comma three so first num will be having one and input is one one is less than one here so if one is less than one this fails so you come out and you insert push and you increment input input will now become 2 and in the next iteration num will be accessing 3 so 2 is less than 3 2 is less than 3 this condition passes so you go inside you add push and you add a pop and increment uh, the input so you add push you pop that element and you increment input input is 3 and now once this comes out you add a push because it is 3 right so you add a push and you increment input input will become 4 it will come out because this so here input was 3 this will break and it will come out you add a push input will become 4 
and in the next iteration you reach all the elements inside the target 1 and 3 so you come out of the for loop so once you come out of the for loop you return this list push push pop push so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the input given to us and the space complexity is also o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video